All right, here we go, episode five of our Frozen Horror series. We're going to paint the Ice Goblin, or Ice Gremlin, not Goblin, Gremlin. Um, as always, I want to thank our YouTube members, especially you, Northern Viking. You gave me some extra donation money, and that was awesome of you. I can't thank you enough, and that just motivates me even more to keep pushing these out. I'm promising you I'm trying to get this done by the end of September, all of the Frozen Horror done by the end of September. So we're going to try and push that as hard as we can. This is your first time with the channel. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We have this. We have Oath Sworn coming. We've got some more Warhammer I'm working on. We got a bunch of stuff. We're not quitting. But without further ado, let's go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to scrape off all those nasty mold lines. Now, both of these ice cream ones that I got were, like, warped. And could have I melted them down or put some hot water? Yeah, I could. I just don't have the time for that. Between this and Pokemon and work and a family and reading books, I don't have time for any of that. So it is what it is. Um, Next, we're going to take some earth texture from Vallejo. We're going to slap that on there. And we're going to let that dry. Where I live, it takes about 10 minutes to dry. It's a super dry climate. Nothing. Water evaporates instantly. So we're going to put that on there. Once dry, we're going to use a black primer. Um, I'm using my airbrush, so I'm going to take that black primer and spray this entire thing down, fun, uh, followed by some white primer. Uh, if you have spray paint, you can use that, but we're going to use some Zenithal highlighting. Hit it with a white from above. Pretty easy. All right, we're going to start with our base colors, and our first base color is going to be Thousand Suns Blue. We're going to use this all on the skin. So the face, the ears, the arms, the hands, and the knees, and the back of the legs, little hammies and stuff like that. Next, we are going to use Night Lord's Blue, very dark blue, on all of our cloth. Most of our cloth, not all of it. And we're going to use this on the front portion of the cloth, where he's got his trousers, the boots, um, a portion of the gauntlets, and the skull cap that he is wearing, excluding the crystal portions that are sticking up. We'll deal with those in a little bit. Next, for all of our fur areas, we're going to be using some gray sear. If you don't have this, you can use celestial gray. Just something very base neutrally gray. For our strap, our leather strap across his chest, we're going to use some of that Rhinox hide. And because he's only covering one shoulder, probably because he couldn't afford it, or his gremlin boss said, absolutely not, you only get one, we're going to use some Grey Knight Steel on the pauldron. For our little cloth piece that's sticking out above the waist, and for our boot and strap laces, we're going to use some Carrick Stone on those. For the mouth and the ears, we're going to use some Doomfire Magenta, which is a contrast paint. You don't necessarily need to use this. You can use Screamer Pink. That works just fine. I just wanted to try this, so that's why I threw this in there. Next, for our eyeballs and our teeth, we're going to use some Corax White. This is the worst paint that Citadel makes by far. It's almost unusable. 
and the people that use it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The thing clumps up, it's complete garbage, but I have it and I'm gonna use it. Any white will do just fine. It doesn't need to be Corax white. Don't buy this color. It's complete trash. For the bandana on our gremlin's right arm, we're going to use some Flesh Terrors Red contrast paint. And for our little gold areas on the belt and the ears, we're going to use some Retributor Armor. And we were talking about this earlier with the laces with the Carrick Stone. You can use Rackarth Flesh on these two as well, but either or doesn't doesn't matter. And for our crystal sword and the crystal portions on the top of our skull cap, we're gonna be using pure white. We want to go as pure white as possible. And you'll see why here in a moment. Um, for the entire miniature, except for the white crystal areas that we just painted white, we're going to use Nolan Oil all over this thing. Now, I know what you're going to think. As soon as you painted this thing and it dries, or it is drying, you're like, oh my god, Matt, this looks like a hot piece of trash. And it did. I looked at it and go, oh my god, am I even going to be able to make this video? This thing looks terrible. Take a leap of faith. We're going to be fine. Trust me, it's going to look great. Just let it dry. All right, to do our first highlight, we're going to take that Frost Heart, which is, came out in the nick of time for this series. Amazing. Contrast paint, and you can even thin it a little bit if you want, and we're going to use it on the crystal portions of our Gremlin. All right, let's start on the skin. The most biggest focal point on this miniature, everyone's going to look at the skin. Retake some Thousand Suns Blue, and we're going to go over a vast majority of the skin, the raised areas specifically. Eyebrows, cheekbones, nose, fingers, knees, that type of stuff. We're going to repaint this over and give it that nice boost that we're looking for on the original base paint. Next, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Thousand Suns Blue and Araman Blue. And we're going to go over the same exact areas we just went over. This time, we are really focusing on... If we did 100% on the original Thousand Suns Blue, we're going to be looking at 75 to an 80% surface area, building up those highlights. You might want to go over them a couple times. One or two is perfect. You can keep going if you want to build up those highlights. Next, we're going to take some Aramin Blue. And again, while you're painting this, think less is more. Don't put very much paint on your brush. You only want a little bit. And you're very easily stroking that paint on there. Nice, easy strokes. You're not going to try and glob that whole Aramin Blue on there. Just nice, easy, build up that color. One or two coats is perfect. Next, we're going to use 50-50 mix of Aramid Blue and Fenrisian Gray. And again, building up those highlights. Really making that blue with the gray stand out. And you can start to see this skin really transform and make it the color it looks like in the art from the booklet. Like I said, taking a leap of faith, building up your colors. One, two, maybe three layers on this. Just build up those colors. And as a final highlight, you're going to take your Fenrisian Gray and build up those highlights even more. Focusing on the bridge of the nose, the eyebrows, the cheekbones, and the fingers. A little bit on the kneecaps as well, and the shoulders, the tops of the shoulders. And you're really seeing this miniature already transform from a hot piece of steaming garbage to, this looks pretty good. I know what you're thinking. When it's, you are satisfied with the tone of your skin, and I did about one to two layers on each of those ones we just went over, we're going to take some gray sear and we're going to go over our fur areas again. Not in the recesses, just the top parts of our, excuse me, I'm not going to re-record that, um, of our fur areas. Next, we're going to take some pink horror and we're going to go over those pink areas we did from earlier. And just 
just build up a little bit. The ears are really what's going to stick out. That's all I really care about. And the tongue, of course. Next, you're going to build up those highlights of Liberator Gold on our earrings. Just super simple. And just to bring up the lightness, darkness, I don't know. I guess it's night dark. It's Night Lord's Blue. Uh, we're going to bring this up just a little bit because we did cover it in a black wash. So that's all, the, that's all we're doing for the stuff, I guess you're saying. The tunic? There we go. We got it. Next, we're going to take that character stone and we're going to go over those thread areas and the portion of the overlapping shirt, I don't know what it is, on the waist area, and just build up those highlights again. And to build up the highlights on our bandana around our right arm, we're going to use some Waz Daka Red. For the leather, man, there seems like there's a ton of stuff on this miniature. There is. This little gremlin has got a lot of stuff on him. Doom Bowl Brown, just to brighten up that leather just a little bit. For the Gremlin Necklace, we're going to use some Screaming Skull. Followed with some Wazdaka Red, just to save some time on the paint at the base or the tooth portion of our miniature. And as we're coming to close almost to our base colors, we're going to use some of that Grey Knight Steel again to brighten up our one pauldron. Now, I did a certain not very good job, I'm going to say, on the base colors. I went with Basilicanum Gray and Frost Heart, trying to make that blue and black work together. It doesn't work. You're going to see here in a second. So you can just use Basilicanum Gray, or you can use some regular, like, greens and all of this stuff. But as you're mixing these two colors together, and as I mix these two colors together, I'm like, wow, this looks like hot, hot trash. So, you can just use one solid color if you like, that Basilicanum Gray, or you can mix them together like I did, trying to make that snowy look which didn't work. But it did work with the Valhalla Blizzard, which looks fantastic on top of it. It makes it look all super snowy. So you can just do that and cover it up like what I did right here. Perfect. And finally, your favorite part of painting this miniature is because we're done, is the edge. Have it on black. You can use whatever you want, but have it on black. And that's it. You did it. Actually, a lot of steps for a little gremlin that's just cruising around with its ice sickle sword, whatever it is. So, but we did it. It looks fantastic. Again, I want to say thank you, everyone, for your donations. Again, Northern Viking can't thank you enough for your extra donation you threw in there and your constant donations for everybody here, the YouTube members. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much again for everything you guys do and watching my videos and actually interact with me because it's amazing. So until next time, paint on.